sooner or later in your martial arts odyssey, there's a very good chance that you're going to need to work with a partner. Here's how to find a good one. Here's how to be a good one. Let's make a distinction between learning and training. Learning is about the acquisition of skill. Training is about the development of that skill. So learning partners help each other acquire a skill. Training partners help each other develop their skills. When you're a beginner, you don't need a partner. You need a teacher. In our beginner classes, we don't do partner drills. We use a few very basic techniques to focus purely on the foundational fundamentals, balance, line, focus, and distance. In intermediate classes, you will have learning partners. They're your classmates. You'll probably work briefly with each person in the class. When we perform partner exercises, we do it step by step by the numbers. You don't have to guess what's going to happen or when. You have no choices to make. You do exactly what we tell you to do, exactly how we tell you to do it, and exactly when we tell you to do it. We leave very little room for error because we don't want you to make any. If you do the right thing, you'll learn the right thing. If you do the wrong thing, you'll learn the wrong thing. It's my job to make sure you learn the right thing. And this is the right way to do it. It's also the safe way to do it. In our school, we follow what's, uh, what's sometimes known as the green rider principle. It says this, you can put a green rider on a great horse. You can put a great rider on a green horse, but never, ever put a green rider on a green horse. That's just a recipe for disaster. What that means is we never put two raw beginners together, if we, if we can possibly help it. We always try to match up a raw beginner with a not so raw beginner, someone who at least knows the drill and has a little bit of skill to carry it through. First and most importantly, be safe. Never aim a sword at anyone who's not wearing a mask. Use no more force than necessary to do the action. Keep alert for a broken blade. If you do the drill correctly, you won't break many blades, but it's always a possibility. Be courteous. You salute each partner before and after crossing blades and thank each one before you move on to the next. Be quiet. There's no talking in class except to ask the instructor a question or to answer a question the instructor asks you. Be precise. Focus on the drill and make each part of the action as perfectly as you can. Oh, it won't be perfect. It won't even be in the same zip code as perfect. Don't worry about it. It'll get better. That's why we call it practice. As I said, training is about the development of skill. It's also about physical conditioning, mental conditioning, and building character. And notice I said developing skill, not demonstrating skill. This is cooperation, not competition. It's not a win-lose situation. It's a win-win situation. You have to give as much as you get. Always keep working on your fundamentals. Balance, line, focus, distance. And this is something you do on your own time. Save your partner training for things that you can't work on by yourself. Primarily, that's the five tactical principles. All good relationships 
are based on respect, trust, and affection. And this one's no different. Choose a training partner who is close to your own skill level. You're his partner, not his teacher, nor is he yours. You're equals. You're in this together, and you've got each other's backs. Give each other encouragement for sure. You give each other what you need, which may not always be what you want. A good partner will tell you what you don't want to hear. Keep your word and hold your partner to his word. If you say you're going to do something, do it. You don't start late, you don't quit early, and you don't cancel at the last minute. Never break a promise, especially not one you make to yourself. And if your training partner doesn't keep his word, find another training partner. Focus. Training is training. Training is not socializing. If you have an hour to train, you don't want to spend 45 minutes of it chit-chatting. Train hard. Always give it 100% of what you've got at that time. Never go easy on anybody. That's both an insult and a waste of time. Give it your best. Demand the best from your partner. That's how you raise each other up. I'll tell you something. I, uh, I heard this in Indian country uh, some years ago, but it, it always kind of stuck with me. The guy told me, hungry wolves make fast deer. The wolf tribe keeps the deer tribe strong not by going easy on them, but by eliminating the weak, the slow, and the stupid. So only the strong, fast deer survive to breed. So hungry wolves make fast deer. On the flip side, fast deer make wolves stronger and smarter in order to survive. It's a win-win situation. Mother Nature is a pretty savvy dame. She would have made a good fencing master. Being and having a good training partner can elevate your art. And being and having a bad training partner can mire you in mediocrity. It's train hard, train right, or train wreck. So be careful who you train with.